where am I? You're in the line to get into heaven. Wait, heaven? I, I made it? You see, I was in an accident and I, I was lying on the gurney in the emergency room. I couldn't even talk. And this pastor walked by and asked if I had given my heart to Jesus. I had so many opportunities in my life to do this, but I just, I just couldn't give my life away like that. And then as I was laying there and I felt my life slipping away, I believed. And Jesus forgave me. And now here I am waiting in line for the entrance into heaven. Isn't that incredible? Are you sure you're in the right place? Listen to yourself. Plenty of opportunities. Never gave your life to Jesus. Never even said the sinner's prayer. And then you believe in your last breath and that qualifies you for heaven. Think about it. There must be some mistake. If I was you, I wouldn't be confident until you make it all the way through those pearly gates up there. You think there's a chance I might not get in? Let me put it to you this way. I've been serving Jesus my entire life. I gave my heart to him in Sunday school when I was five years old. I've literally gone to church my entire life. I even started tithing as soon as I got my very first paycheck. And I've read the entire Bible through 26 times, including Leviticus. I'm a shoe in I just can't wait to see how big my mansion's going to be. Yeah, I mean, I heard the size of your house in heaven is based on how good you were on earth. The really good people, they get mansions on a hill. Average people, well, they get a beautiful condo, and those that just squeak in, an efficiency apartment. I'd be okay with that. I'm, I didn't even get to serve him. I only gave my heart to him with my final breath. I know what you mean. I'm just glad to be here, too. I did my own thing most of my life, and by my own thing, I mean some pretty nasty stuff. I made a real mess of my life, and then I had my heart attack. That really helped put things into perspective. I gave my life to Christ, and it was great. He truly changed me. Too bad it didn't change all the messes that I had made, but it was amazing to get to know peace and to start getting to know Jesus. I'd be thrilled with one of those efficiency apartments if I can just be with Jesus forever. I'm hoping for a mansion. Yeah. I gave my heart to Jesus when I was in college. I did a few things I wasn't proud of when I was in high school. But then I met this great girl, and we started dating, and I wanted to be with her as much as possible, so I started going to church with her. And then after a while, I started to listen. And then I thought, why not? So I gave my heart to Jesus. And we had a great life. Three good kids, seven grandkids. I even kept trusting Jesus when my wife died. And now, here I am. Sure hope I've been good enough for an upgrade. I would not mind living in heaven first class. Yeah, I'd settle for a condo. I mean, I started serving Jesus when I was young, but I sort of drifted away. You know, it wasn't until tragedy struck that I turned back to the Lord. But by then, I'd been divorced alienated my kids, uh, I had lost a lot. And everybody thought my newfound faith was just an act. But I kept loving people and serving Jesus, and eventually, at least my kids came around. All but Susan. Yeah. She never forgave me for messing up our family's life. Sure glad that Jesus knows our hearts. Well, after hearing your stories, I sure feel better. I mean, I wasn't perfect, but I was pretty good. To be honest, I wasn't sure this eternity stuff was really for real. But I'm so glad I placed my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Did you see the faces of those on the escalator going down? You could tell it was getting hotter and hotter. Excuse me? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's time for us to begin our final check-in process. When I call your name, Please step forward. Let's see. Kim, you're first. I see here that you gave your heart to Jesus just before you took your final breath. Wow, 
Isn't God's grace amazing? Welcome to heaven. You mean I'm in? You sure are. Here are the keys to your apartment. Now, there's no need for directions. As soon as you walk through those gates over there, something amazing is gonna happen. The blood of Jesus will take its full and final effect in your life and you will be made perfect. As soon as it happens, you'll know exactly where to go. Wow, I'm in? You mean I made it? Thank you. Did you all hear that? I made it into heaven. I can't believe I made it. See you all on the streets of gold. I'm going to heaven. Let's see, who's next? Dale. Looks like you messed up a lot in life. I sure did. I wasn't sure that Jesus could save me, but I gave my life to him and he changed everything. Actually, I wasn't sure if I could make it here. Of course you weren't good enough. It was never about your performance. It's always about his grace. You gave your heart to Jesus, and now here you are. You get to be with Jesus forever. Here are the keys to your apartment. I look forward to joining you for the big banquet in the throne room. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Next, uh, that would be Mike. Welcome to heaven. Here are the keys to your apartment. Well, I'd hope for something better, but I'll take it. Thank you. Next, Chris. Are you happy to be here? I know there were times in life where it was hard for you to believe, but in spite of your doubts, you kept the faith and now here you are. You get to be with Jesus forever. Here are the keys to your apartment. What, no condo? Not that I'm complaining, but I thought I lived my life better than those other three. The main thing is you get to be with Jesus. You're right. I'll take it. Thank you very much. What a bunch of losers. None of them served Jesus like we did. I mean, that's what happens when you procrastinate. It's like they say, you snooze, you lose. Just sit back and relax. Our turn's coming up soon. Mansions on a hill. Hey, maybe we'll get to be neighbors. Let's see. Paul. Looks like you had a great life serving Jesus on earth. Enjoyed a life full of joy and peace. Hold on, let me check. Yep, it looks like all of your kids are on track to join you here someday. What a privilege to walk through life with him. Congratulations, let me be the first to welcome you to heaven. Here are the keys to your apartment. Did you say apartment? Isn't there an upgrade for people whose kids are serving Jesus? I thought that, hey, wait a minute. This is like one of those gotcha television programs, isn't it? You're just waiting to see how I'll react. Well, you're not going to fool me. Where's my mansion? There is no mansion. A condo? Sorry. Here are the keys to your apartment. Jesus promised everyone who loves him a room in heaven. You get to be with Jesus. As soon as you walk through those gates, you'll discover that's enough. Thanks. I think. And last but not least, Jeannie. Present. I've always been present with the Lord. Hmm. Very impressive record. Been serving Jesus since you were a child. Bible reader. Tither. Prayer life could have been a bit better. Hey, wait a minute. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. But I do speak on behalf of the master when I say, well done, good and faithful servant. Here are the keys to your apartment. Apartment? There must be some sort of mistake. I'm Jeannie. I served the Lord my entire life. You just said my record was impressive. Are you telling me that I get the same reward as that lady who gave her life to Jesus in her last breath? There's no mistake. Jesus promised heaven to you and everyone else who believes. And here you are. There must be some sort of mistake. Review my resume again. An efficiency apartment? This isn't fair. Grace is never about fair. Here are the keys to your apartment. Just take a step through those gates and you'll understand it fully. Honey, I need to speak to your manager. There has to be somebody else who I can talk to about this. I deserve more. 
Perhaps, but heaven is not about what you deserve. It's a gift of God's grace. Do you want to go or not? I mean, I guess, but it's still not fair. Just step through those gates and you'll understand. Okay, but I don't have to like it. I promise, in just a moment, you're going to love it. That's how grace works. Let me walk with you. You'll see. Jesus ended his story, so the last will be first, and the first will be last. Yeah. I'm looking for a mansion. Like this is almost a three students thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I even can't remember my line. Yeah, I got it now. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Here we <laughs> okay. Wait. Use that one if we okay. <clears throat> but but you can do better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's like they say, when you procrastinate, you snooze, you lose. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> That's how grace works. <laughs> Gave her life away. Oh! <laughs> Heard that, uh... Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there is such a thing. I put it on. I said strategy truck earlier. <laughs> I wonder what kind of place I'll get. <laughs> I said something wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I placed my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Did you see? <laughs> You're right. No condo. <laughs> you better take it. As soon as you have it, but, but, but nope. There is an immense mansion. No. Your life could have been a bit better. A bit better. Could have been a bit better. Could have been a bit better. Hey. Could have been. Could have been a bit. Hey. Prayer life could have been a bit better. <laughs> Here are the keys to your apartment. <laughs> you love that. Yes, I did not blow that one. Welcome to heaven. Thank you so much. I just forgot my line. I'm okay with that. I didn't even get to finish my line. I know it does. I know what you mean. Oh, you were supposed to. I know what you. I'm just glad to be here too. <laughs> That's nowhere close. <laughs> I guess three actually? sentences was actually. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Bad, bad, bad thing. Not yet. Do I have to call you? <laughs> Cut. <laughs>